Pisces. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card reading on YouTube. So it's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, whatever Pisces influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies or themes for the next week or so. There's no dates anymore because I realized they didn't matter to people. <laughs> so um, just so that you know, uh, I upload a Pisces video every single week, as long as full zodiac, all zodiac signs, I upload every single week. So if you want them hot off the press, please subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow, and then ring that bell so that you know right when I upload each new Pisces video. So Pisces, let's get into your reading. This is the Oracle Card Spread Energy reading. I articulate this reading with an extended option. If you, if you want to extend the reading, there's an extended option down below. You can find the link in the description box. Click on over. It's a full tarot card spread that extends, expands, articulates, and personalizes this reading here on YouTube. Um, and it includes a romance reading as well. So let's get into your reading. Crowning your reading is surrender now, you're refusing to surrender. This is a sense of being very cautious, of not flying into the flames, of, of hanging back and staying back, of almost feeling like I know that I'm going to get burnt. I'm headed right toward getting burnt and I'm not sure that I want to go pausing, maybe even stalling to basically, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, but you came, you were at the center, just so that you know, Pisces, uh, you might want to go watch the Sagittarius reading because you were at their central position of their reading. And then you showed up a, a great deal also in their romance reading. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or this is just like you're seriously affecting Sagittarius because this is still your season. But um, this is a sense of you like, hanging back and holding on or not necessarily holding on but like refusing refusing to go not wanting to take off like there's a reason here your gut is telling you no this is not the right time i i, I don't want to do this right now or hanging back maybe to observe a little bit more you're not willing to jump right now you're not willing to fly right into disaster and danger this week you want to sort of like stay there's a sense of stay of ruminate on this a bit um maybe get some more information or take stock or basically even like like a stall like I said stall or uh, buy yourself some time because it's almost like you know once you go into it there's no turning back and you're just not sure that you even want to be on that path yet um, there's a disconnect here like this is what it is a sense of eight right this is divine intervention usually, but it's upside down. So this is a sense of you have to lead spirit. You tell spirit when, because spirit is not, is not, is not intervening here. They're not, it's almost like, you know, this is not the right time. That's what this card means, because this is one plus seven. Uh, so the energy of eight. So this is destiny and you can feel that it's not the right time. You may want it to be the right time, but there's this hold up. There's this back. There's this, it's not the right time. It's just not the right time, but you may not know how to see, see that near his voice. You may not know how to tell somebody it's not the right time. So it's like you're avoiding talking to them. You're stalling. You don't want to say anything. Maybe you feel like you're going to upset them. You don't want to commit right now. And you so you don't want to speak. And But you're avoiding speaking to them. But you don't know how they're going to feel if you avoid speaking to them. You don't want them to be mad at you. But at the same time, you just aren't ready to talk to them right now for some reason. You're avoiding somebody. I can tell you that right now. You're avoiding a conversation. Um, it's just not the right time. It's not the right time. I feel it. You're, it's not the right time and you're not ready to go. Where are you planning on going? Is it something that um, uh, surrender now, this energy of three plus nine, 12, three, once again, holy trinity, divine, body, mind, and spirit. Something is in balance. Something is an all collective coming together. You know this isn't the right time. Two more cards came out. Believe in yourself. You're having a real hard time believing yourself. It, believing in yourself and putting everything together. You're having a really particularly difficult time to set roots or take root. Maybe you don't want to take root yet. Maybe you don't want to make a commitment yet. 
And you feel like if you're pushed into this and you have to go this direction, you're going to be forced into a commitment that you're really not ready to make. You're not even sure how you got here. You have to figure things out. There's, there's a really big frustration coming through you through for you this week, Pisces. This is Virgo energy, but it's a Virgo flipped upside down a, a second, um, um, a, a sense of a sense of uh, maybe feeling judged, feeling condemned, or feeling like there is no structure and there's too much uh, sort of malleability and or overwhelming structure. A sense of feeling too pressed upon. All the signs are getting at this week. Like there's just too much, um, a sense of too much, too much, too much, or about to explode or ready to move forward type of energy. You are definitely like not wanting to plant seeds. You do not. There, there is something in here, like you're not, it's not even sure, not, you're, not, you're, yet you're definitely not sure of the situation, but you're also not sure of yourself. You're not sure of yourself in the situation. You're not sure if you're right for the situation. There's a lot of self doubt coming out this week for you, Pisces. Um, you see clearly now, this is the energy of four plus three is seven. This is creation. You do not see clearly. You do not see the way forward. You're frustrated because you don't know which direction to go. You're like bumping your head into walls in the dark. You feel like you don't know which where, where to go or or what to look for or how to get done what you need to get done. It's this, this sense of just being really lost and feeling like you can't see and you're blinded. And it's like the blind leading the blind and you don't know you don't know which direction to go in. And that's why you don't want to like commit or allow yourself to fly toward a specific opportunity. Um, you're even afraid to address somebody because it's almost like maybe you don't want them to know how lost you are, or you don't want them to, you don't, like you, you just not ready to talk to them yet because you, you wouldn't know what to say if you did talk to them. So what's the point of talking to them, but you know that not talking to them is going to get them angry and upset with you. And you don't, really now you don't want to deal with that and it's like you're avoiding them because you were avoiding them and you you're avoiding them now because they're going to be upset because you were avoiding them and it's just like it's getting darker and darker and you're feeling more lost and you're feeling more pressure this is Aquarius energy um interesting okay um here we go central to your energy is reclaim your power but it's once again upside down you don't feel any stability. You maybe don't want to feel any stability. You don't want to feel, but you're feeling a heaviness. There's a sense of feeling drained, of feeling all your energy drained from you. Like maybe you've taken on too much, like this work is too hard. Like there's so much that you're working on that it's taking all of your energy and all of your resources. And you're starting to feel that physical tiredness, that physical energy lagging and slacking and... um. Um, wanting sleep, but not being able to get it, um, um, wanting a break, but not being able to take it. Um, you're very focused on your own world right now, but it is draining you a great deal. And that's probably why you don't have a lot of time for everybody else that you might want to see. Reclaim your power. This is about your power sort of being like dripped away. Um, but I do think it has got a little bit to do with, and this is about reclaiming your power and not believing in yourself, not realizing how much you have a hand to play and why you feel the way that you're feeling right now, Pisces. There's this energy of um, your sense of like, like lack of confidence in yourself is what's exacerbating the situation and making it much worse than it actually is. The situation is not as bad as it seems if you would just confront it, but you don't want to confront it, you're avoiding it. Um, to, time to collaborate. Bam, this is all about partnership and who you're working with. You may be working with somebody else. You may have decided covertly to go work with somebody else or go put something together with somebody else, simultaneously leave, leaving another person out that was expecting you to work with them or expecting you to want to be with them. Could be in a three-part, third-party situation, a sense of collaborating with one person when another person expected you to do it. They could be spying on you. They could be snooping on you. They could be looking on your social media profile to try to figure out what Pisces is up to, what are they doing, like what, who are they working with, who have they decided to go with, why aren't they responding to me, and you can feel the tension and the drama building, you absolutely can, but you have definitely started to 
like 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 start work on something with somebody else um um be, maybe because you felt it was a better opportunity for you uh something something that you feel more comfortable with now or this is just the energy of you working really hard being hard at work and being so distracted by the work that you're working on everything else is a little bit superfluous and you're letting a lot of social things or emotional things fall to the wayside um uh, be generous of spirit. Uh, this is the energy of 10. So you are very. That was big. I'm sorry. There was a big thud downstairs. One of my neighbors places, but it sounds really close to the walls. A little scary. Um, but this is a sense of looking to the future of you being future focused. And, and, um, this is the energy of 10. So something is coming to completion. You're working on something that's coming to completion. It's been taking a lot of energy. It's been taking, a, I think more energy than you expected it to take more time than you expected it to take. Um, but you're, you really believe in it. So all you're looking toward is that you're looking toward the project being done. You just want to like, this is like, this is like your last leg of the race. You can see the finish line. You just want to get over, even though you're exhausted, you're just, you're just blocking out because this is a powerful sense of self. This is Leo energy. So you're blocking out anything that's getting in your way of your future goal. That's what you're doing. And you're hardcore focused right now to keep running the race and keep straight ahead and not be distracted by all these other things that could and would make you feel bad about yourself if you took a second to think about them. more for Pisces. I know there's more for you guys. Um, the miracles are endless has flopped upside down. There's an energy of six. This is love sort of being askewed. This is this, but this could be somebody offering you a cup of love, but not necessarily the one that you want. Spirit has your back is also coming out in reverse. Both spirit cards have come out in reverse. This is a sense of laws and rules and regulations really like getting you down, not really like feelings like stuck in the web or stuck in the net of not being able to navigate it or feel like any of it's on your side or it being too burdensome for you because you can't really figure it all out. It's like too much paperwork, too much red tape, too much BS. This is a sense of a cup of love. This is still good fortune and abundance coming to you. This is a sense of like almost like the Ace of Cups, a cup of love being offered to you, maybe resources being offered to you. This is what I'm, this what this energy is saying to me is that the people that you think are going to be mad at you and irritated by you and um, um, be, be pissed at you for not getting in touch with them or whatever, they, they love you more than you think they do. They're, they're going to want to support you. They're going to be very proud of you. They're going to be very happy for you. And you're going to be very proud and happy with yourself when you, for, with the outcome that you're going to reach by basically going razor stop sharp focus and, and, and working on this project and cutting everything else out, you're going to be really happy with what you come up with. But this is a sense, this is your grounding energy, a sense of sort of being out there all on your own, um, basically improvising, um, um, not being able to work within the system because the system hasn't worked with you or doesn't, you don't understand it. And so you're sort of working outside of the system. You're basically going rogue and just going all on your own and going all out um, by yourself, just inventing things as it comes up. You're very ingenuitive right now, you know, um, making decisions as you go, crossing those bridges when you come to them. That's how you're running things. Um, this is the mask is coming off. Um, chameleon spirit five, a change, a shift in you, um, uh, being revealed, uh, maybe even without choice, uh, being seen or being super exposed. Maybe you're intentionally exposing yourself, but this could also be a sense of maybe credit card debt. Maybe that's why you're running and hiding. There's a sense of credit card debt, them coming to find you or trying to like, um, them actually being able to find you or get in touch with you. You might get served papers of some sort because they've finally been able to find you. So there's a sense of you putting all your resources into this product and you will be very happy with the product, but there's a lot that you've let fall to the wayside and avoided while you were doing this. And then you're eventually going to have to pay the piper. Ooh, that's your grounding energy too. This is also, um, your, your true self coming out, um, not being able to hide what you feel, not being able to hide the fact that you, so in other words, clearly people understand that you're not interested when you don't call them back. 
that's kind of the energy. It's like you're, you're being, you're revealing yourself even without giving an answer because no answer is an answer. One more card for Pisces, please. This is your grounding energy. It is. Embrace the in-between. Oh, this is Libra energy. This is the blessed limbo. <laughs> this is the do what, this is the economy card, right? Um, uh, two plus six, this is eight. This is destiny. And you're waiting for right, just the right time. And what you're doing is you're being, trying to be very economic, kind of trying to rob Peter to pay Paul and shift around any resources that you have to figure out how to use what you have to the best of your ability. Cause you know, new resources aren't coming in right now and you gotta make do. So you're just improvising. That's what, that's your grounding energy is improvisation and going with the flow and being ingenuitive and just finding a way to make everything work, Pisces. This is a great time for us to go over to the extended reading. I'm going to continue this energy. I hope to continue this reading um, and articulate this energy. I hope you join me or hold on because I'm about to flip over the cards just for a quick review. Here you go. So just so you know, this is your grounding energy here. And this is 100% ingenuity. There is happiness here. It's, it's good stuff, but it's almost like you're like giving all of yourself and maxing out your credit cards to get the good stuff. So eventually you will have to pay the piper, but ultimately it won't matter because what you've taken the risk for will be worth the risk. And you are avoiding anything outside of that right now and afraid to incur the wrath of whatever you feel you could be avoid it's almost like you're intentionally pisces avoiding a situation because you don't want to make a commitment right now you, d you don't you don't want to put anything in stone right now but the thing is you could just call somebody and talk to them and let them know i'm not ready to decide right now but it's almost like even that little bit is too much emotional stress for you right now because everything about you has been put into this well, whatever this progress, this, this, what you're focusing on in your future. So you don't, you don't, you, you might in other, in another, on, on, on another occasion, you might have the energy to turn around and say to somebody, you know, I'm just not sure of the way right now. I don't feel really comfortable with that. But right now you, you don't have the energy to even expend on that because you're very drained. You're feeling very drained. You're feeling like, um, every little piece of you has been chipped away. Um, and and like I said, you could also be sort of hiding who you're collaborating with or not wanting to tell anybody or having chosen a person to collaborate with that was um, unexpected when somebody else was try trying to like get your attention to collaborate with you. Um, but that's okay because you know what that means? It just means that you have options and you have choices and you're trying to figure out which is the best for you right now and you're not going to play it by the rules. You're not trying to be proper right now, Pisces. You're trying to be uh, practical when it comes to you and what's best for you. So you're going to do what's best for you, even if it's not best for somebody else. And that's a really good energy, I got to say. Um, so we're going to extend this reading with the tarot cards and add on to it with a romance reading. The link is below, Pisces. I'll see you over there.